University of Cambridge International Examinations IGCSE Mathematics Extended Paper. This is an example of an A grade question. A ship sails from port A for 42 kilometres on a bearing of 130 degrees to point B. It then changes course and sails for 24 kilometres on a bearing of 040 degrees to point C, where it breaks down and anchors. What distance and on what bearing will a helicopter have to fly from port A to go directly to the ship at point C? So on the left we've got a diagram of the problem. So we start off at port A and the ship sails for 42 kilometres on a bearing of 130. But remember you have to face north first. So face north and then turn through 130 and then you follow that line for that angle. 42 kilometres to point B. At point B, it changes course and sails for 24 kilometres on a bearing of 040. But again, you've got to face north. Then go through your on 040 bearing for 24 kilometres to C. That's where it breaks down and anchors. What distance is it between A and C? And what is the bearing um, of C from A? So that is the problem. On the right hand side I've added a dotted line, I've extended the north line so if you like I've extended it to south. Now this, if this is north and this is north, these two lines are parallel so therefore we've got an alternate angle there. Now we know that that angle in total has to be 180 so that has to be 50 degrees and as they're alternate angles that one is 50 degrees as well. 50 degrees and 40 degrees makes 90 and the problem is basically a triangular problem the ship's gone from A to B to C but the helicopter's going from A to C so on the next diagram we've got the triangle itself and put the angles and all the information in and because it's 90 degrees we can use Pythagoras to work out the distance and the distance is 42 squared plus 24 squared all square rooted. So we can do that on a calculator. Uh, so it's the square root of 42 squared plus 24 squared, which gives us 48.373546, etc. But we'll just write that to three significant figures, and that will be 48. 0.4 kilometers. So we can just write that in. So 48.4 kilometers. Remember three significant figures. And that's the distance AC. So we've worked out the distance that the helicopter has to fly. Now we've got to work out the bearing. Now, the bearing, we can use the sign rule. But that's just to find this angle here, but that's not the bearing, but we need to find that angle. So, the sign rule says, sine 90 over the square root of 42 squared plus 24 squared is equal to sine A over 24. So that's that line there. A little bit of manipulation with algebra. Multiply through by 24 on both sides. 24 sine 90 all over the square root of 42 squared uh, plus 24 squared equals sine A. So back to the calculator. Um, you may know that sine 90 is equal to 1. I'll just check that in the calculator. Sine of 90 equals 1. So this is 24 times 1. So what we're going to do is 24 uh, divided by again the square root of 42 squared plus 24 squared gives us 0 0.4961. Now what I'm going to do is I'm not going to put all of that number in because it's far too accurate and the calculator will give us uh, uh, not a very helpful answer. But we can round that to a few decimal places and be, and be happy with the, the answer. 
So the sine of A is going to be A sin and we'll just put in 0 0.4967 six that should be fine and that gives us an angle of 29.7 degrees well we can give that angle just to the nearest degree so we can say that angle A equals 30 degrees and again we can set that to the nearest degree And now we go back to, we go to the final diagram. This angle here, let me just change the color of the pen. This angle here is about 30 degrees. And if we go back to the original problem, we saw that the bearing, which is this one here, is 130 degrees. Okay? So if this is there's north. AB is there, so that's 130 degrees. If this part is 30 degrees, then the bearing that it goes on is 130 minus 30, so the bearing is 100 degrees. And so, to answer the question, we can say uh, bearing 100 degrees or is approximately 100 degrees and the distance AC distance is 48.4 kilometers and that was the three significant figures